Welcome to Devotionals on the Go. My name is Kelly Wenner, and I'm the founder and creator of Soul Strength Fit. The devotionals over the next four weeks will be part of an Advent series and are intended to help you worship Jesus. They are intended to bring you a sense of awe and wonder as you consider the nativity scene with fresh eyes and renewed perspective. May this be a season of hope, peace, joy, and love as you focus on the true beauty and meaning of Christ's birth. Listen, reflect, and grow on the go. This time is for you. Our opening verse comes from the book of 1 John. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy Love expressed in action proves it actually exists. Out of his deep love for us, our Heavenly Father acted on behalf of his children and sent his Son to earth to rescue us with his own sacrifice. We read also from the book of 1 John, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God, Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. And in the book of James, do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. We are called to love. Like the Lord Jesus, we are called to love through action. Jesus demonstrated his love in a thousand different ways. Healing, washing, helping, giving time and attention, listening, helping, sacrificing. What are some practical ways you can demonstrate love to others?
Let's face it, certain people in our lives are easier to love than others. I could love, serve, and sacrifice for my children all day long, but there are some people with whom I have a more difficult time loving, not just in my heart, but in words and in deeds. Who are these people for you? Our next reading comes from the book of Matthew. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbors and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, What reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Enemies is a strong word. You may hear this verse and think, but I have no enemies. Then this phrase simply refers to the people on your previous list, the people you struggle to love. Enemy is simply an antonym to the word friend. So your enemies are those you don't hold close in your heart as friends and loved ones. So who are your enemies? How can you love them? What would that look like? This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. This does not mean to lay down our lives as Christ did in death, but listen to the next line in this verse. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? We are called to lay down our lives in daily service, in acts of love. 
This might mean sacrificing our time. This might mean sacrificing our resources. This might mean surrendering personal rights for the good of others. For we are told in the book of Philippians to do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. We are called to a different kind of death. Death to our selfish nature. Death to the part of us who wants to be right, have our way, or seek our own good. of a time that God asked you to show love to someone you didn't particularly like or put someone else's needs before your own even though you didn't want to bring that situation to mind God now to give you the opportunity to show love through action to enemies in your life. Pray for the opportunity to express love and then pray for the ability to rely upon God's love running over like an overflowing cup to enable you to love as God has called you to love. Thanks for listening to Devotionals on the Go, your place to listen, reflect, and grow. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss an on-the-go devotional. And I'd love to connect. Check me out at soulstrengthfit.com to see all that Soul Strength has to offer. I look forward to digging into God's Word with you next time. Bye for now.